turned to Wokingham after a massive regeneration, and they say business is thriving. The project was hit by a number of delays, but now councillors say there is even a waiting list for traders keen to get a spot. Our reporter Charlotte Cross reports from the Market Square. It's market day in Wokingham, and grocer Danny Edwards is doing a roaring trade. Hello, darling. How are you? Since the farmers' market started up here a year ago, he says business has been booming. It's a lot better. It's bringing a lot more people out now, so uh, it's brought a bit more life back to the town. It's still building all the time. We still get people saying, "Oh, we didn't even know the town's been done," and it's still over because people did they did stay away. But now, because it's all done, we're getting a lot more back. The regeneration project took a little longer and cost a little more than planned, but the councils insist it has been worth it. It's a great historic market town, and I think the investment's worthwhile. And at the end, the return to, to the residents that come from it too is, is very worthwhile as well. I think it's marvellous at the moment. It's really picking up. We've doubled our market space. On um, Fridays and Saturdays, we've got cute, a waiting list for stalls to come into the market, and it's a really vibrant uh, atmosphere here. Maya managed to make her way to the top of the waiting list two months ago with her zero plastic stall, offering refills of soaps and detergents. And four days a week, shoppers can visit local businesses like hers, selling local goods. It's very, very good. I'm from, I do shop in Reading mostly, so I thought I'd check out walking in today. But yeah, I'm quite impressed. We love markets. Because you get bargains in markets, don't you? It's just brought a bit of life to the area. So yeah, great, love it. Well, look at the bargains we've got, two big... Containers for two pound a pound each. Look at that. It's getting better. It's um, better than what it used to be. Now business leaders are urging the councils to capitalise on the changes. And what we want to see is that the uh, borough council help assist that footfall by looking at the roads, the car parking charges and, and the whole picture uh, so that you know it's not just the farmers market that benefits but obviously the other retail outlets in the high street itself. And Market Square is just one part of the regeneration plan with much more still to come. Well, one of the major ones ongoing right now is a nearby Elm Field. Now, that was quite controversial when it was first announced as it was building over a playing area. But now a new play area has opened and there's a hotel and cinema set to follow too. Now, here in Wokingham, there are 10,000 new homes due to be built by 2026. The council say that a major revamp like this was desperately needed to get the town ready for the future and, of course, all the families that will be moving into those homes. And that was Charlotte Cross reporting there.